The way Emily and John were a husband and wife photography and video duo from West Wales, and we've spent the last few years capturing non-traditional, wild and free weddings and elopements across the globe. We've always been passionate about working with couples that create weddings and celebrations unique to them. Couples who don't just follow tradition or do things to tick a box, but really get creative. It's funny, you spend years building your business and creating that dream job. And when you get it, you can never really imagine yourself doing anything else. But then lockdown hit, and weddings, along with the rest of the world, came to a complete halt. And overnight, we found our business and bookings vanished. We were left questioning who we were as photographers, and it challenged us to find new ways to be creative so we could keep paying our bills while we weren't able to shoot weddings. We soon realised, well, we aren't just wedding photographers, and that doesn't have to be our whole identity. We don't have to limit ourselves to one style or one industry, and I guess that's the beauty of being a photographer. It can complement and be the foundation to let so many other ideas and passions grow. If you would have told us back in March, when we were just about to embark on the busiest wedding season of our careers, that come September, all our bookings would have been cancelled, and we wouldn't have shot a single wedding, but instead, we would have launched and be running our own online clothing and hat store full-time from our little house in Wales, well, we would never have believed you. We usually only shoot with natural light for our wedding portraits because they love the soft, clean look and how flattering it is. For our studio shoot, we wanted to mimic this as much as we could, so we used the largest modifier we had available. Uh, this was a large octobank with two diffusion layers as our key light and then a small amount of opposite fill to lift any shadows to lower the contrast. And when we were planning our studio shoot, we didn't want to use just a standard white backdrop like most brands use, so we opted for a soft yellow paper backdrop to be more on brand with what we were trying to create. For us, being forced to stop and slow down, we've been able to really reconnect and figure out who we are as creators and not just wedding photographers. Our cameras have been the tool that have helped us create a new business and stay inspired during lockdown. When we decided to launch Levain Store, we approached it with the same way as when we launched our wedding business. So we didn't want to be creatives that appeal to the mass and whose style changed with every couple or wedding. We only wanted to shoot non-traditional wild and free weddings. So from the start, we made sure we knew who our ideal customers were and we created our whole brand and visual identity to only attract those customers. And this experience launching and building the Wild Bride really helped us with our store ensuring we knew who our target market were from the start and we focus on creating a strong visual identity and brand that had those ideal customers in mind. We've also learned how to be creative on a budget and use resources local to us like hiring out our local community hall and turning it into a pop-up photo studio so we could shoot all our website content and lookbooks ourselves. Now instead of spending our weekends shooting weddings, we now spend our days at home hand-packing orders. From shooting weddings, we're really experienced in working in all types of weather, so when it came to our desert lookbook shoot, we felt really prepared and confident that whatever the weather we were faced with on the day, that we'd be able to handle it and get the content that we need. On a location shoot, you've got your models, makeup artists, you pay people to travel and put people in hotels. And just like weddings, thousands of pounds have gone into the day and you won't get the chance to redo it, so having experience shooting in all light and all weather conditions really helped us during our location shoot. So our Lorraine Store collection and colour palette was really influenced by the old western movies. You've got the beautiful barren desert and that atmospheric light. So the weather forecast for our shoot wasn't ideal. We had high winds, low light levels and rain, which meant we needed to arrive on location before sunrise so we could make use of that warm light and the lower wind you typically get at the start of the day. So from shooting weddings, we're really used to directing couples and their guests. That was really helpful doing the store shoots as well with us directing the models. And um, we also spent a lot of time before weddings working on shot lists and timings with our couples and this is something that we replicated for the store shoot as well. So this is a way you can guarantee you get all the shots that you need and the client need. Um, and if you ever get stuck creatively at any point in the shoot you can always check the list and that'll get you going again. So 
So one thing that was different compared to weddings was having to find our own models to photograph. So this isn't really something we've had to think about before, as normally for weddings your subject comes to you. So this was quite a challenge to find people that not only wanted to be involved, but also fitted with our brand vision. So we really utilised social media, especially speaking to our wild bride audience, and put out casting calls to find the right people that way. Even though we can't wait to go back to shooting weddings, we are so grateful for how lockdown has challenged us and shown us that we can work through and adapt our creativity in ways we never thought possible.